Hi, I'm Al Solomon, and I've had the privilege of serving as the director of the Cardiology Fellowship Program at the George Washington University for the past 16 years. Our program is located in a very diverse community in Northwest Washington, DC. I think our program has several very unique features which make this a very special place to train. First is our relatively small size. We have nine general cardiology fellows, two cardiac electrophysiology fellows, and two interventional cardiology fellows. What I like about our program is that it's small enough that you get to work one-to-one -one with an attending. It's easy to find a mentor, and you are able to form good personal relations with faculty members and co-fellows. We have a, a very involved staff, which are really master teachers and involved in your teaching on a day-to-day -day basis. What I really love about GW is the people. Uh, and after being here for three years now, and really what drew me to GW in the first place was um, how special uh, the people make it. Uh, in terms of faculty, they really try their best to uh, you know, foster our, our development, both personally and professionally. We start the week Monday morning with our CAF conference where we review challenging cases from the week before. We start our day on Tuesday with fellows didactic, and then at noon we have journal club. So on Wednesdays, we start uh, our didactic with the imaging conference, and we end our day with grand rounds. Every Thursday morning, we discuss EKG and EP tracings with the cardiology fellows and with the attendings. And we conclude the week on Friday with a fellow-driven board review. I think the third unique feature of our program is its individualized style of learning. I meet with each of the fellows prior to each year to try to design a fellowship program especially for them. The learning experience at GW is um, fellow-centric. Uh, our educational experience is always centered around the fellow. We also have a state-of-the-art multimodality imaging program. When I look ahead to the next three to five years, advanced cardiac imaging is really at the vanguard of where cardiovascular medicine is going. I think that every trainee should have a firm foundation. In partnership with our advanced heart failure team, cardiac imaging team, and non-invasive cardiologist, you'll have an opportunity to diagnose and treat many patients with infiltrative cardiomyopathies. We have a brand new exciting experience in the cardiovascular ICU. Fellows have an opportunity to participate in the cardiovascular ICU, which involves a multidisciplinary approach between cardiologists, cardiovascular surgeons, as well as intensivists. Coming, coming, coming. There she goes. Nice. One of the things that stands out to me about the GW program is the very close relationship we have between the attendings and our fellows. Not only do we prepare people to be fully trained advanced electrophysiologists, well versed in all the technical aspects, ablation, mapping, device implantation, we also talk about the human side of things. We want to emphasize to our trainees the importance of recognizing what we are doing, who we are doing it to, and most importantly, what will be the outcome for that patient. As a fellow at GW, I feel like I'm fully involved in doing procedures and being an active part of the decision-making process. We're developing autonomous learning algorithms to detect uh, cardiac arrhythmias using intracardiac electrograms. Dr. Marco Mercator is not only the director of clinical research at GW, he's also my partner on our annual trip to Honduras. Every year we go with our fellows or residents or students to Honduras, where we have made lifelong friends. GW is a primary PCI center with a robust exposure to a lot of patients with acute coronary syndrome and cardiogenic shock. We were very early adopters of mechanical circulatory support for patients with STEMI and decompensated congestive heart failure and mechanical complications of STEMI. We have a thriving structural heart disease program uh, which offers the full gamut of interventions. Um, the fellows uh, who come to us will gain access and also expertise in uh, the various uh, structural interventions. I've seen a lot of high volume, high acuity ACS 
um, as well as structural and peripheral interventional cases that have really given me a good foundation to start my career on. Our mission in this program is to train the next generation of experts. All fellows can take advantage of our GW Heart and Vascular Institute in community service, education, and research. In education, fellows have the opportunity to get an MPH, an MBA, and a Master's of Medical Research. In research, fellows get grants from the Heart and Vascular Institute and work with our GW faculty, as well as joint projects with our Biomedical Engineering Department, our Genomics Group, NIH, affiliates and the public policy experts at GW. In the past two years, fellows have participated and presented in over 40 abstract presentations at national meetings. Life in DC is amazing. Great place to, to train and live. Everything is within reach. A small to medium-sized city, but with all the trappings of a, of a large metropolis. You can go to Kennedy Center within three minutes from GW. And I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. As you can see, the GW cardiology experience has diversity and opportunities beyond a standard cardiology fellowship. Thank you for taking the time to look at our program. We hope to see you in the future.